to Real Life Food Cooking. I'm Suzanne Monroe, and today I'm going to show you how simple it is to make fish. A lot of people I talk to have trouble making fish. They just don't know how to do it. They're afraid to use their broiler. And so the only time they eat fish is if they're eating dinner out. Making fish at home, though, is actually very simple, and it's truly what I call fast food. You can get home from work at 6 and have dinner on the table by 6.15 with this recipe for salmon. So we're going to start with a filet of salmon, and you can have a filet for each person that you're going to be serving. And the first thing I want to do is just give this a nice rinse, um, give it a little bit of a wash here. So I'm going to lightly turn on my sink and just kind of rub it here and make sure it's fully clean. Again, I'm using cold water fish, salmon, which is full of omega-3 fatty acids, and also it's wild caught, the salmon that I'm using. And then also, I want to come back here and dry it off a little bit so it doesn't have too much moisture in it. I've just double padded some paper toweling, and I'm just going to pat it on each side. And then it's ready to go in the broiler after I put a little bit of sea salt on it. Next, we're going to put it in a broiler pan. You can use a traditional broiler pan or just a glass dish, anything that can withstand a high heat. We want the broiler rack to be uh, close to the top, just under the flame. Um, I put it on the second shelf. And some people like to keep the door open ajar. I'm actually going to close it. I feel comfortable doing that because I'm just broiling this for seven minutes. So I'll set my timer for seven minutes. And our salmon will be done, and it'll be perfect in seven minutes, and we'll add a great little sauce to it here in just a minute. Seven minutes is up, and our salmon is done. Let's see how it turned out. Use your oven mitts, because this is going to be hot. And look at that. It has a nice brown little char on the top, which is perfect. So we know it's done. And we're simply going to... Use our spatula to put it on our serving plate. And that's our salmon. Now we're going to add a little bit of flavor to it so it's a little more tasty and it'll be ready to go. I've just minced one clove of garlic and added some fresh basil. You can use any herbs that you like, but I think adding fresh herbs to your fish is just a simple way to really give it a pop and for it to taste delicious. And herbs are also very high in antioxidants. Oregano is, in fact, the herb with the highest amount of antioxidants, so that's a great one to use. And in the summer, I love to have my fresh pots with the herbs outside on my porch, and I just vary whatever herbs I'm using. So you can mix them together. You can just use a little bit basil, parsley, and you add that to one clove of garlic. I'm adding two tablespoons of extra virgin cold pressed olive oil and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. We'll add just about a teaspoon of this. It's pretty strong. And then I'm going to add a squeeze of fresh lemon. Contrary to many people think that lemons are very acidic for the body, but in fact, um, while they are a citrus, they're actually alkaline for the body. So that means that they're very cleansing to the body, and it's a great thing to be adding in, um, whether you're adding it into a sauce or even just into your water on a daily basis. Then we're going to drizzle our fresh herb and olive oil sauce over our salmon. And this is ready to, to eat. I like to add some whole grains to this, maybe some brown rice and a salad. That would make a perfect dinner. I hope you enjoy it and you start cooking fish again in your kitchen really soon.